Robert here. Lacking ideas? Need some inspiration? I think you're gonna like this one. I thought I'd look at um, one of the best maker magazines that I think exists and um, yeah, let's take a look. So anyway, it's the Hackspace magazine and um, I've actually been um, involved with this for several years. No sponsorships. <laughs> But I've just been, um, I've, I've both um, picked up um, individual copies and um, actually have subscribed for for it also over time. And um, it covers quite a lot of different subjects in the makerspace. And also they actually throw in quite good deals if you subscribe. Well, not monetarily, but motivation-wise, so you can actually get... In this case, they're already upgraded. This this is this is the original old Pico, and um, they have a Pico W now. So if you do consider subscribing, now, there's also one additional benefit that the Hackspace magazine has, and I'm just going to show it here. That you can actually go to issues, and you can actually buy it, um, or you can actually get it as a PDF. And um, basically, the PDFs um, they're kind of free, but you can actually you can choose to donate yourself a certain amount of um, money uh, for it to keep them running. So I think that's kind of a, a little bit of a fair deal. And um, also, after a certain amount of time has gone by, then it will actually become free. So if you take the older back copies, then um, then they're free. Which is also it, it's very good is that they basically they keep the online archive of the magazines and if there's some article or something you hear from somebody that's in a specific number then you can actually go go and get it either um, buy it subscribe uh, or uh, contribute an amount if you feel like it's appropriate and or pick it up for free if it's if it passes a certain date so oh, anyway here's the um, set of magazines that I have as physical copies, so I thought what we could do is to just um, go into a few of these, and I've actually marked marked with this some interesting articles that I I found um, of interest, and um, and you can kind of get an idea of what the magazine's like. So anyway, we can have a look at the um, Christmas edition first, and it's one of the first things, uh, which is actually included in most of the most of the releases they actually have a crowd crowdfunding now article where, where they cover some you know, piece of electronics or other maker development that's um, being crowdfunded you know sometimes there they are actually realistic projects and uh, that might be of interest um, and um, for those that are into like retro computing and stuff, they actually, this is interesting, like you wouldn't think it would exist in the modern day, for those that are not into retro, but you can actually get a Z80 processor based small computer <laughs> set up. And, and here we have a actually a good article for setting up some complete Project. So this is Circuit Python and uh, Bluetooth Low Energy and how that works and how how you can program it. So this this information is actually very useful. So, so they keep it because it's a magazine article. They need to keep it compact. And so you can see that um, they actually do compress it and try and explain it in two pages. And and, and this could be used for for a for a project that one has ongoing or planned. Oh, and then sometimes they go a little bit out of the scope, so this is about a whole magazine about extreme builds. And, um, and of course now this is maybe a bit dated already, but no, they, uh, they also do cover releases of new hardware. For example, here's the Raspberry Pi uh, 4 with 8 gigs of RAM. Going through a bit of details about that. Again, in a very nice short format, so if you 
like me, I don't really have a super amount of time, so it's actually nice to have information compressed. And there's something else here. And then again, control devices from the internet using MicroPython, so here's a bit of hints how you can actually set up a microcontroller and with a, um, a control dashboard and, and then how you get them to communicate over the internet. So that's actually also a very useful article for so here's the actually one dedicated magazine about building arcades. I ran out of those nice plastic markers and find another solution. But basically it's sort of um, you know how do you uh, a short article how to build a full size arcade machine. So you know what, what's needed in terms of woodworking and electronics and the actual gaming solution, button control. Um, actually been thinking that that might be a nice thing to have in the workshop but uh, as a smaller version since I have a very small version <laughs> what else did I find ah then this one yeah not not in very many ma magazines or uh, articles do you find this uh, like a concise debugging microcontroller software like on a, on a low level so what's in you know how to use the debugger and how you connect it up and that's with these smaller microcontroller boards. So that, that I'm saving as a as a reference. And then oh this was this was ah, I just saved this this was interesting. You know you when you had very uh, old fashioned telephones then they controlled the when you entered numbers and stuff then it was like it's a it's based on a dial t a tone that you send along the line. So this is actually how you can use tones with, <laughs> with little modern electronics and use it to as a as a control mechanism for for example for robotics and stuff. Uh, I thought that was hilarious. Uh, and then there's uh, for example uh, this was about um, they actually do have quite a lot about um, uh, you know sound generation and. Uh, Stuff. Well, this is uh, first how to use Raspberry Pi to stream audio in an easy way. So, I'll just take this one as the last example, and this one dedicated more to 3D printing. But also, they do have um, uh, quite a lot of articles about, um, uh, I would say, like uh, cosplay building. And making so that, yes, for those that are that into that kind of a thing, there's also um, in, in these magazines that appears from time to time. So, for example, here it has a whole section on um, 3D printer uh, tips and techniques. Also, like you know, how to this, uh, how to use the 3D design programs and how to actually do the printing and stuff. So, so not so not a, so the pretty much a very broad width of, of maker tech. It all, uh, for those that are into woodworking they all, from time to time they actually do have uh, articles on um, woodworking also. So I hope you found that interesting. So um, you know, for me it's very useful because sometimes I'm stuck with ideas or you know, without ideas <laughs> and I need some inspiration so it's actually good to um, flip through a magazine from time to time you can actually get some inspiration anyway uh, happy making and um, see you in the next one